Hello, Stellaris community. Community manager Mordred Viking here to give you the rundown on Galactic Paragons, what it is, and how to get the most out of it. Galactic Paragons is all about strategic choice. Do you want to have many low-level leaders, or perhaps one or two extremely powerful ones? Even when picking the leader traits themselves, there is a strategic choice. Some traits will give you monthly resources, which allows you to buy yourself out of a deficit, but choosing those may mean you miss out on some other benefits, making even the choosing of leader traits a strategic choice. Galactic Paragons is also about the stories you tell with these leaders, and the special leaders you're able to find throughout the galaxy, which will make every playthrough feel unique. There are 16 renowned Paragons, powerful leaders that may seek out your empire, each with their own background story and flavor events, as well as four legendary paragons. These legendary paragons, should you find one, truly possess some game-changing abilities. In Galactic Paragons, you also get the ability to expand your Empire Council. As you complete the Expand the Council agenda, you will get the option to add a new seat to the Council. The seats available are determined by the current civics that your Empire has. Some civics will give powerful bonuses to your Empire, while others will give you powerful compounding bonuses based on the leaders assigned to the Council seat. Every corporate and regular Empire civic has a unique Council seat associated to it, if you own Galactic Paragons. There are also two new tradition trees in Galactic Paragons. The first, Aptitude, will let you recruit more leaders, as well as help reduce their upkeep and increase their experience gain. While the other tradition tree, Statecraft, will provide your Empire Council with more powerful and longer-lasting agendas. And let's not forget the Under One Rule Origin. Choose from a selection of dynamic ruler traits for your all-powerful ruler, while playing through an origin with a responsive narrative and multiple different endings. The ending you get is determined by the choices you make ruling your empire and how you treat your people. Will you be known as the benevolent despot or a warmongering authoritarian? We've told you what this pack contains. Now here's how to get the most out of those various features. In 3.8 Gemini, we reintroduced the leader cap. There are traditions, ascension perks, civics, technologies, and leader traits that give you various options for getting additional leader capacity or even getting leaders who don't count towards your capacity. In order to level up your leaders, your leaders will need to be actively performing their duties. Governors level up by, you guessed it, being the governor of a planet. Scientists will level up from surveying the galaxy, doing anomalies, dig sites, and even assisting research on one of your planets. Admirals and generals can gain experience while in combat. However, admirals can additionally gain experience while they're on anti-piracy patrol. All leaders assigned to the Empire Council will gain experience over time. Unlike legendary leaders, which must be sought within the galaxy, renowned leaders seek out your empire. There are two renowned leaders for every ethic, and they will prefer empires that share their ethics. You can increase the chance of a renowned leader seeking employment in your empire by constructing the Interstellar Recruitment Office. Choose your civics. Wisely. In Galactic Paragons, even the least used corporate and regular Empire civics have additional abilities. When choosing to expand your council for every civic in your empire, there will be a unique council seat. It's worth giving the civic descriptions a second read, because some of the lesser used civics now provide extremely useful council seats. And that's it for today, folks. As you can see, this is a deeper, more character-driven version of Stellaris with greater emergent storytelling. And if that sounds like the type of thing you're looking for, then Galactic Paragons is certainly the DLC for you.